they're like lightly brown and I just put the chicken in there to make it a little brown as well. We'll have to just use my stove. <laughs> so what I'm making is a little bit of chicken pilaf. Just making it very simple. No extra seasoning. So I have it slightly brown. I'm actually going to use some of this ingredients right here, which is the Maggie. It looks something like this. Like that. Just for flavor. And for the rice, I'm going to use this basmati sealer rice. Maybe one cup. So right here I have the rice. So, or actually soaking them now. You can soak your rice for like 10 to 15 minutes, depends what kind of rice you're using. I had simmer the stove so the chicken can get a little bit tender but not too much because you don't want to overcook it because it will cook in the rice once you get the rice in there and that's my next step probably. So as you can see the chicken is getting a little bit browner and like I said You don't want to put this extra water in there otherwise you'll have some soggy rice so make sure you can drain as much as you can don't waste the rice there now <laughs> all right and you can see this is coming to a boil or it has so then you'll add this rice to that so now I have added the rice to this so you don't want to put too much like spoon in there you don't want to break the rice so just spread it out lightly and let it cook until the water evaporates so as you can see I have it on a little bit of a high heat and once the water will start to evaporate you'll start to see the rice So as you see, the rice is starting to fluff up a little bit. What I'm going to do is simmer the heat, put it on like a low, very low, or medium low if you want, and I'm going to cover it so it'll cook in the steam. And you can always actually tell if the rice is too hard or too soft. What you want to do is just take your spoon and take it out. If you want to taste it or you know <laughs> um, yep so we're just gonna let it simmer and cook on low heat until it gets a little bit more tender so it's starting to look a little better where the rice is almost cooked as you can see there is some water right there I'm not touching it but <laughs> there's the water so let that evaporate as well I'm gonna simmer it for some more time and while that cooks, we can just wait. So as you can see, this chicken pilaf is almost done and ready to eat. It's still under steam, so what I would like to do is cover it with, you can use any warm cloth, clean. Some people like to do it under there, but... I just like to do it on the from the top and I have it simmered to very low. I'm going to go ahead and turn it off actually and let it cook a little bit more in the steam and cover it. 
All right, so let's check it out. Mm, smells good. As you can see, it's like cooked all the way. O M G. <laughs> all right, and then here we have no water left. So the rice looks good, and chicken looks good. All right, bon appetit. It's looking good, and here we have some chicken rice pilaf with Maggie flavor. Okay, everyone, enjoy, subscribe, and don't forget to hit like so I can keep posting.